Hi guys, so today I have a quick haul for you and it's actually perfect timing. I totally forgot what I had ordered from <laughs> Crafters Companion this last um, order because it wasn't really based on a show, it was just uh, items I needed. And it's going to really work out with this stuff here. So I think I'm going to go ahead and review this now because this haul is not very long. I only have a few things. And it's a good thing to use again with the um, Moonstone or what's the brand name? Hunky Dory uh, for the love of stamps. Create a shaker cutting dies. They have another one that's more of a water like aquarium feel but like animals it's so cute so this one is the um jar it's called super sweets and cutie critters so i picked these up from crafts campaign so i will review those right now after i show you these other items um i've been keeping an eye out for this stuff because i'm like every time i go to buy it it's sold out but a lot of times when they talk about stuff on their little shows people just buy it all up so this is foam on a roll look at how many are in here i don't know if you can see how thin this is and there are 12 rolls in here you guys and this was only um, doo -doo -doo. $6.99. And that's with my discount, so there might be a little bit more than that. So since they had it in stock, I ordered two rolls, and I was hoping that it wouldn't be super thick. So this is perfect. Like, this really is, look how, it, it, it'll be easy to man manipulate, let's say, if you have, like, a special shape, like the little jar that we're going to use today. So that's awesome. 12 rolls. Obviously, I mean, it's a lot of <laughs> uh, adhesive, but, um... But it's going to go faster than if it was, like, obviously something tight, like a tape that's flat, right? You know? So, just because it looks like a lot on a roll. It uh, doesn't exactly mean that. And then they had some individual ones, and this was $2.77, but I didn't know the size of it, the thickness, because I was trying to compare it to these other ones. And you guys know I had bought recently their, um... Well, actually, I bought tape on a roll, but it was just a flat adhesive, right? So this one is also foam on a roll, and it's a lot smaller. I don't know if you can see. <laughs> right? Um, and this one was $2.77 and it's, um, wider, okay, and the width of it, um, this one's like twice the thickness, I don't know if you can see that, uh, than these little guys. So it's interesting, it is interesting, I guess it must be also thinner because, why is it so small, but yeah, it must be a little bit thinner. Um, this one's 10 millimeters by 2 millimeters by 2 meters, and this one is 6 millimeters by 2 millimeters and then six by three also. So there's two different sizes in here. Actually, this one's a little bit thicker than this one. So it's awesome. I really like having this. So we're definitely going to try these out right now. And then the only other thing I ordered in this order was all of the double-sided boxes that I was I was into. I don't know if you guys remember. I had reviewed them, and it was they were okay. Um, the hexagon shape was not my favorite. It was very skinny. It, it'd be really cute. If you sell jewelry or if you have little tiny items like that a lot, adorable because it's a cool shape right but for me the square and the rectangle are more the shapes that i would get into somebody had made a comment on hsn when they reviewed it that they thought they could use it for cards you know if your card's kind of thick the double-sided box and that the sizes are not um american sizes you know like u.s sizes what you would think you know your regular like a2 size card or something like that so that's interesting because I don't know if she just wanted to fit perfectly or or it really doesn't fit. So that'll be kind of interesting. Maybe I should review these on their own. I haven't done that before. I had bought them and I showed them to you guys and I bought them from the HSN. But I can return them <laughs> um, until January 31st. So I, I got a way better price on Crafters Companion site. Um, by like eight dollars a set okay so to me i'm like that's 16 bucks plus these were way cheaper too so i bought a pair of plates anyway because these are the gemini junior um double-sided die plates because i do have a lot of their double-sided dies and even though they're indestructible supposedly i went ahead and picked it up because this was only like nine dollars when i bought it no there were six yeah no hold on yes nine bucks and then i went ahead and bought the the large plate there because i think when i bought them at hsn i paid twenty dollars for them and i didn't have any extra discount and then i got them for 13 bucks so that's really good so i got the large double-sided plates for the double side dies and then again I reordered these guys and I'll return my HSN but it does say here now see it says it has two sizes 6.1 inches by 4.1 inches um this is the rectangle and I don't know if that means when it's complete or if that means when you cut it right so it's kind of I would think that's the complete size and 4.35 by 2.35 inches which is really small you know what I'm saying like that's tall and like this wide so the only other one for a card would be this six by four inch, but our cards are what four and a quarter by five and a half. So four point one. It might make it so that your card has to lay in there a little bit sideways. I, I think you can still get it in there, but you have to put it angled a little bit. 
that's a good a good thing um, that Lady had brought up. Maybe I'll, like I said, I'll review that for you guys to make sure. The only other two things I have right now are that yesterday some things came in from HSN. Again, auto ship stuff. And um, one of them is the geranium foam flower kit. And the other one is the floral layer stamp. So let's see what's what. I have a feeling this is the foam because then it's bigger. And as far as pricing on these, I mean, you can't get into it now, right? Because they already closed the auto ship. But um, for this one I have in my hands, the floral layer stamps and dies is altogether $35.77. So it's $30, $3.50 in shipping and two just over two bucks in tax so it's a little bit high especially because you know these people are going to reduce these super low on crafters companion or like right now if you guys didn't get in on this layering stuff they have them like for all four sets or whatever they came out with at the beginning for like super cheap so look into it it's too late for me to return them and buy the new ones because um i think that they had launched like in august or september so now um I can't return them. Anything from October 1st on, you can return until January 31st through HSN. But it is two different sets, so it's not like it's one set for the 40 bucks, or 35 bucks. So it's not horrible, to be honest. That's still not, that's still okay pricing. Um, you know, what you expect to pay from these guys. So this one was really cute. I was really looking forward to this one. You're awesome. And then it has the cute little, um, obviously you layer it up. Again, whatever layering, you know, um, system you like to use or stamping system for that. And then it has the die that does your awesome. So it cuts out the cute little um, frame basically. And then you have some sentiments you can stamp in there. So I was looking forward to this one. I really like this one. And then the teapot, of course. So this is called floral teapot. You have your die, be a nice big teapot, and then you can decorate the little image on the teapot. And then it has some different uh, sentiments. So really cute. Again, for the two sets, that's not bad. Um, and then this is the floral foam and the reason I like this one is because they do sell their floral foam a little bit expensive So I'm allowing this to show up, you know to come in instead of just skipping it because you can buy the basic their floral foam online with them from them A lot of people say get the foam that they have on Aliexpress I don't know how you would look it up if you just look it up by floral foam or something else, but that it's inexpensive and it works well But I know this stuff works. So I'm not you know and then it costs $19.95 plus the three of the shipping and the tax. It was $25 even. So, you know, you have your die set and basically all it comes with is some sheets of the foam. So we have seven sheets, three in white and four in this like uh, lavender kind of color. But the white, you can dye it. So that's why I like that for. And every time I've made videos showing you guys how to, you know, use the flower foam, everyone loves them. And I think they're gorgeous. They come out really pretty. It's not like so thick that it's like tacky or just like a little too much you know what i'm saying they're really pretty delicate flowers when you're done so and it does tear easily so you got to be careful with that um as you're manipulating it but this one is just the geranium again just your basic flower so nothing to write home about but i do like it i think the next one is did i already get the lotus one i'm waiting for the cherry blossom kind of one and i might have skipped one of them ahead of time but i don't remember which one it was because i think there's only two other ones showing up or coming in Okay, so let's get ready to do this. I have so many things just on the floor around me, you guys. This is crazy. <laughs> this is crazy in here. So let me get some stuff together. So we'll do the basic little um, little card here. And you know what? Maybe I'll do the gummy bears. That's so cute. Because I was like, what am I going to do on here? Look it. And we can just color them in or just stamp them however we like. So uh, let me grab some papers and I'll be okay, right back. Okay, so well, let's get to stamping. So I just got some basic stuff. This is just a basic 6 by 12 sheet of white paper that I'm going to use as the base of the card. So I'll just score it at 6 inches so it makes a 6 inch square card, right? So we have that. Um, and then I went ahead and grabbed some of the Crafters Companion stamping card and I realized I had a bunch of um, little extra pieces too. So I think I'll just use this because I really don't need much more than that. So whatever you have, you know, it works. That's great. Um, to mat the card, um, I think I'm going to do this pink which I just realized I'm gonna have to cut through because I wanted this, I didn't want, I wanted this to be the background but not completely right behind my little guy. So we'll see how we do that. I might still have to cut into the other white piece of paper. But this is five and three quarter inch square uh, matte layer. And then we're just gonna do our stamping and stuff. So what we're gonna need is, we're gonna need like a frame, right? So what I'll probably do is cut this out in white also. That's what I'll do. Okay. <clears throat> Let's do a little stamping first and then we're gonna use our cutters and all that and then of course you need like a little piece of acetate or just like a leftover piece of carrier sheet or whatever you want to keep your sequence in this time the sequence is going to be like whatever cute little thing we cut out here but I'm going to get this guy and we're going to stamp him 
in um, alcohol proof ink because I'm going to use um, alcohol ink or markers like the Spectrum Noir to color it in. And then look how cute, little macaron. There's like just chocolates. I mean, this thing is adorable. It has all these little uh, flowers. So I got this in the last haul, but I did tell you guys I was gonna work on it. So I'm gonna do the gummy bears cause you know, but so cute, filled with love just for you. Life is sweet, make it a sweet celebration. There's lots of different words here. I don't know why this one is not where it's supposed to be. That's kind of interesting. <laughs> I mean, it migrated on its own. There you go. Um, so we're gonna stamp this one a few times, right? So let me get uh, block just real quick and I'm gonna, I wonder if I can cut two of these out from this paper I think I can awesome so uh, yeah I don't need anything else but I'm gonna just ink up this little guy oh that did not do too well but that's okay and I'm just gonna stamp a whole bunch of however many I think I want to put in here of course I wanted to save space but not too close either because we're gonna cut these out and who knows how the Look at that. Um, what size the uh, the die? I don't know if it hugs it real close or if you need space, right? Let me put this here. Oopsie. I would, ugh, I'm gonna mess this up. If I try to do it again, I think I'm just gonna try to get that bottom corner of it. Ah, not too bad, especially if it's gonna be inside. So I have like six little bears stamped up there. And let me return this. I would normally wash it, but since it's so small, it's not a big deal. I'm just going to put this back in. There we go. Is it big enough? Huh. No, I need a little bit bigger block. How about this one? Nope. Bigger block. How about this one? This is a Crafter's Companion one. I don't know. It might be okay. Let me try to pick it up. And, uh, nope. <laughs> All right. Let me find a block big enough for this, and I bet you I have my stamping. Yep, there they are. My Crafters Companion stamping platforms right here. So I'm just gonna pick up this little guy. I only have to ink this one up once, and we're gonna cut it out. Um, and then the other one is just gonna be the outline, the white paper, so I don't need to ink that up. Hopefully this stays on here. These do feel like photopolymer stamps, um, so that's nice. I'm gonna try to save space, like I said, so I'm gonna move it really close to this edge over here. And really push down. Try to make sure. Really nice, look at that. I mean, that's really nicely detailed. Like, in, in Hunky Dory, I mean, they're a great company, so I didn't expect anything less, but I haven't really tried out their stamps or anything, so. What I'm gonna do is grab some inks. Let me just, oopsie. I'll grab a couple right now while you guys are still sitting there watching. I should have had these ready. Uh, let me grab a gray. And then I'm just going to do all kinds of different color gummy bears. So I'll probably do that off camera because it's not the biggest deal. But I just grabbed a bunch of my tricolor, tri-blend ones. And like the little gray one here, we'll start with our light. Let me bring this down with the lightest color. And they give you more of the light color because you know you're going to use more of that normally. Um, there we go. And what's the lid? I think it ends right here. I'm going to go ahead and color the whole thing. I know, um, what's her name? Leanne always says to preserve your highlight, but this is kind of, I don't know how much highlight this is going to have. So there's that dark. I'm not really good at doing these kind of things. So I'm just going to put some dark like just down in here and then wherever these lines are. Make it look a little darker. And then we have our medium color. That will kind of also kind of scribble in there. Uh, and then light again. I want to make sure that's the light because I was like, ooh, if that's dark, I'm going to... Okay. And I'll probably add a little bit more dark just because it kind of goes away. Okay. And then our little guys over here. Let me look at their picture and make sure I did color it the way they're, they're intending because maybe I... Let me look. See on the back here, they have cute... They say to make it to this whole thing gray, which is kind of odd. That 
lid. Let me, it looks like it ends there, not down here. What do you guys think? Hmm. Okay, they make it come all the way down. That looks good. So I'm going to go ahead and do that too. So I'll <laughs> finish up adding gray all the way down to this last little ridge here. And then these little guys, I'll just color them in super bright. Here we have, let's say this one. This is supposed to be the light color, just so you know. <laughs> I was like, every time I use that, I'm always like, is that the dark? But since these guys are just going to be inside like, you know, little extras, I'm just going to come in here. And then go in with our dark. Let me put it inside the little ear. It doesn't have to go anywhere. I'm just going to go right back to the light because it's just a simple little image. Okay, and I'll do the same thing with the purple and whatever red color I chose, and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I have just a few different cute little colors here. And then we have this guy. I'm gonna cut this down a little bit because I think what I'm gonna do is use the Anna Griffin Empress Mini to cut this out since we haven't really used her too often. So let's cut those things. And I have my plates here. So we're gonna need probably just the two plates. The metal shim is there. I don't think we'll need it because it's a very basic thing, but that's okay, I'll leave it there anyway. And then again, <laughs> I'm gonna try to cut into this plate um, this way, yeah, okay. I'm trying not to lose my acetate, so that's so why I'm like, ah, okay. So let's take our little jar and let's get the, the die for it here. Oh, I hate when they do this. <laughs> they put all kinds of tape and then it sticks to the packaging so you can't get it out unless you have everything popped away from that tape which sometimes is impossible oh goodness i guess i'm gonna have to rip this whole package okay there we go and this one i'm gonna eyeball it and it does have a pretty good amount of room around it so just know that if you want to try to conserve paper you can't uh, take too much there we go you don't want to take too much off the sides Sorry if you saw me lining that up. Again, you can do that little trick I showed you guys that I learned long, long ago of making like a little aperture so you can see exactly where you're gonna cut. And while we're here, I'm gonna go ahead and trim out one of the little bears. Do, do, do. Where is our bear shape? You guys already saw it right here. <laughs> it's, it's not much of a bear shape, it's kind of funny. It's right here. No, this one's tough to do. This one is probably one that would need an aperture. Look at that. I'm pretty sure that's it. No, you know what? Maybe this isn't the bear shape. Maybe it looks like it. Yeah, no. Sorry. This is the twisty one. <laughs> the one looks like the twisty candy. I was like, that can't be right, but it did look like it had the little ears and the bump up there because that did not measure up. Now, let's see. This one. This one's much better. Okay, <laughs> there we go. So I'm going to trim them all out. Let's. I'll show you what it looks like as far as what the... Um, Empress does because I'm sure you guys are curious. So I'm going to put down metal shim and the plate. <laughs> the last time I told you guys, I'm trying not to cut into one of them and then I end up cutting it. And Gal's like, Oh, you didn't hear me screaming from here <laughs> not to cut it because you guys can see what I'm doing when sometimes I'm like kind of spaced out. But okay, let's run that through. Press run. Press run or nothing's going to happen, people. Oh my goodness, that's not. Interesting. Aww. So cute. We are gonna have to do this one again because we wanna make a frame inside of this, right? So let me leave that there for now. And so cute. Our little gummy bear perfectly cut out. Look at that. That's like the best I've ever seen as far as uh, an area around a, a die like that. So every time I run this through, I'm gonna cut out another bear just so I'm uh, kind of preserving that. So this thing, as you look at it, it has the ears, a little space there, and then this is the legs. So you kind of have to really pay attention to that. It does leave quite a bit of space around it, and maybe that's why, because you can line it up pretty easily that way. But, um, you know, that doesn't even look right. Hold on. Nope, lies. Okay, I'm just trying to tell you guys which the space, there's a little tiny gap here, that's for the legs. I'm sorry, 
I did the first one just right and didn't say anything about it. And then the next one, I'm like, let me explain it. And it's wrong. <laughs> okay, I need that middle part so we can make a frame out of this guy. And there's already a piece of tape. I'm just going to leave it there. But basically, we want this here. You can take the outside. I'll do it for you. Let's take this off. It doesn't need to be there. It's just something else that's going to dig into your um, cutting plate. And then we're just going to line this up inside however you like. I'm trying to follow the areas, but it doesn't really look like it has a specific place to put that. Okay, and I'm going to trim these tip both of these out. And I'll show you that, and then I'll just cut out one white just one white, just like this, right? For the behind um, the jar, since I have a pink background paper. And then I'll continue cutting out all the rest of the little um, gummy bears. They're so cute. Look at that, I had to pick that off. A little tape stuck on there. And then this guy is gonna be our little aperture. So I'm going to put this to the side before I lose it. I can use that scrap for something else, but there you go. Super cute. So um, along with cutting out one more, um, just on the white paper here, one more jar, I'm also going to cut one out of this acetate. And then I'll probably run them together. So this is the acetate pack, um, and I already have some cut down from the last time I used it. This is Crafts Companion. They do sell a couple different types of acetate. Um, this is the pack of 20, I don't know. Um, and look at that perfect sizing. Oh my goodness. So what I'm going to do is run these through together. That way I don't misplace my little clear. Look at, it's not easy <laughs> to cut through this stuff. It's nice and thick. So like I said, I will run both of these through together like this. And when I come back, I'll have all our pieces and we'll assemble our card. Okay, guys. So I have the card and base again, six inch card square. Um, and I have our little pieces here. I was going to show you how the different colors of white cardstock. Oh my gosh, this lighting drives me nuts. Um, okay, so this is close to my heart, white daisy. And this is the Crafters Companion white. I don't know if you can see the difference. Like, that's crazy to me. White paper is white paper, but I don't know. This one seems whiter, but this has like a gray tone to it. Who knows? All right. Just want to point that out. All right, we have our pieces. Let's start with our paper. And hopefully I can find a tape runner that's not all messed up. And the reason I said this because like this one I think is out of tape. Yeah. Okay, I need to refill that one. <laughs> and then this one is gonna work for me. They always do funny stuff. This one's a good one. Oh, and it brought something weird with it, but okay. Uh, and people ask me about this one because it has the blue adhesive that you can really see where it's going. Um, there's just an ad tech dot glue runner. And we're gonna eyeball this and hopefully it's not gonna be super crooked, which I am very much known to do. Use a wet glue if you're not good at matting you know, the first time with just eyeballing it. Okay, so I have a few different pieces here. We have the background only because my background was pink and I guess you can leave it pink, it doesn't matter. I mean, jars are see-through, so obviously you're gonna see pink in the background, but I just wanted to leave the white there. So I have this guy. And then this piece, um, I guess it got crooked while it was cutting through or going through and it didn't quite get this last piece. So I just wanted to show you that again, this is the Empress Mini. Um, I don't think it's a big deal. Like I said, I cut it out with that white piece of paper. So it was a lot of thickness, I guess, for the machine, which you would think that would make it cut through better. But um, I don't know if you can see it. It gave it like a, an embossed look on this thing and it's kind of not cut super nicely. I just want to make sure that this thing that they're the same both ways, I guess, because if it turns, okay. So I do want the jar to be kind of sideways like that. So we can work on this totally separate and then add it to the card, or you can work on it on your card base, however you like. I'm saying stick this down, put your sequence, do all the stuff that you need to do, however you want to do it. Um, what I'm going to do is grab some of this, and I should have already had it turned upside down so that it comes out easily. I love this stuff. I'm almost done with it, but I have like 10 more bottles because I keep buying it every time. So this is Call Glue. This is their, um, I don't know. The other one's the Craft Glue. I don't know what they call this one. All-purpose glue? I don't remember. Sorry. But it's the clear one. Um, oh, no, no, no. Oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I'm going to stick the clear background to this. I'm going to try to go to the, around the edges just so that it stays down nicely. So we're using that to stick the clear to. 
so what I was trying to see is if um, the jar is symmetrical. It's not, so you have to make sure you have it the right way. So you don't have stuff peeking out where you don't want it. Oh, Dorian has his first concert tonight, uh, clarinet concert, and it makes me laugh because literally they've only met four times <laughs> this whole year. It started late, or, you know, and then there's been breaks in there and everything else, and I'm like, this woman is brave? I think yesterday was the fifth time they met, or Monday, so I guess five times. I'm sure it'll sound like a symphony. All right, it'll be cute. Um... So I'm going to set this over here. I'm going to work on it without everything around it. And we are going to need our foam on a roll. Let me grab that real quick. And I'm going to try to use the thin, I'm going to use the second to the thinnest one in here, right? So there's one that's the two, I guess, and there's one that's like three. I'm going to try the three. Mmm. You know what? Let's eyeball this before I just pull one out here. That is really close. Let's go with the two. <laughs> very light, very, seems like it'll be easy to use. I don't know. And then we'll see how, no, don't like that. <laughs> Started coming off the other side. That's okay. All right. Ooh, it just wants to unravel big time. Okay, it unraveled all the way down to the floor. So be careful with that. Um, what I wanna see, I wanna take this off. Is we really need to stick to the very, very edges. Look at that, it kind of manipulates easily. I don't know that I'm gonna be able to go around this curve, but I think I might. Oh my gosh, you guys. Ooh, I like that. I'm not pressing it down until I get there. So it gives it a lot of ability to curve. So basically the paper is tearing, but obviously the foam is not gonna tear. Oh my goodness, I like this. Okay, I'm gonna cut this because this thing, like I said, it took off way too long <laughs> down to the floor here. And I'm just gonna keep it the way it is and use the same, I'm gonna cut it now because this is part is not. Again, always, always, always butt it up to the last part, especially if you're using small uh, glitter or sequins. Um, and I'm gonna cut, let me just eyeball a piece that's gonna go there. Oh my gosh, you guys. This stuff is pretty great. That was super easy, and look at this. Whoop. I'm just gonna take this off, almost in one piece that I stopped it there, I probably could have just given it a turn. You guys, get yourself some of this foam on a roll. No wonder it's always sold out. Now, I can cap that off if you don't want stuff to go in there. I do have an extra piece here, but I'll probably use it for something else. I don't really mind because um, that's more realistic, actually. When you have a jar, they will go up into the lid, right? Do I still have my six little guys? Oh, I think I lost one. Let me see here. One, two, three, four, five. I'm losing a red one. Let me find my little red... Uh, gummy. Here he is. Actually, I just found him. He's underneath the Empress Mini. Hold on. There you go. All right. So, like I said, you can put this all together and then stick him on or however you want, but let me go ahead and I'll just do that. You can also still add glitter to this. That'd be really cute. In the die set, they still have, um, not still have, but they have little hearts. And what's kind of funny is they have four sets of it. So they have a set of hearts here, a set of hearts here, and a set of hearts here. So I guess, I don't know why they didn't just put it all in one die, but um, if you really wanted to run all three together at the time, you're going to make a bunch of little cute hearts, you know? Everything else basically has a shape um, from the stamp set. Um, this heart does have uh, a shape. I don't see how you would use that <laughs> with these. They're not even the same. I think that's just there for decoration. All right, so I'm gonna put this on top of this. You guys, this was easy, super adorable. I hope I get this right because annoying me, I'll do this part crooked and then I'll be super upset. Actually, I won't be that upset. Uh, you know me. I go with the flow, you guys. That's pretty good. It could move over a little bit and I probably can do that, but I'm not, I'm just gonna leave it. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. There's a little of that glue on the outside. Look at that. Super cute if you had added, or if I had added um, a few more things in there. And then you can glue it down flat, give it some more dimension. I'm gonna do flat because 
I think it already has enough dimension. And if you want to cut this into the card, that would have been a whole other thing you can clearly do. Or add a little ribbon. Oh, wouldn't that be cute? Tie a ribbon around this top part, just so it looks like, um, like something you would have gifted. Super cute. Um, and then they have some cute little stuff. I don't know. They're... Oh, what, this is the other thing I want to mention. Look how cute these little lines, like if I wanted to do some... Oh, maybe I'll do that. Just some little, little something. I should have done it down here. I'm going to have to do it a different way. We'll get that going. And then it has like little um, lines that can go around your little butterflies. And these guys don't have to be in the jar. Like this would be cute if you put it on the outside. Just have them out doing their own thing. Little leaves. Super adorable. Are there flowers on here? Oh, yeah, they're here. <laughs> I was like, where are the flowers for the leaves? This is a cute set, you guys. Um, I'll just do Life is Sweet. So what I'm going to do is just finish this off by taking my black ink and... Just stamping this wherever I think, just to give it some... Oopsie, what am I doing? <laughs> I was going to ink up um, the thing without any kind of stamp on it. What I was going to do with this is just kind of give it some... Maybe go in here, do a little something, and then maybe again another little one like here just to give it some something fun. I'll do it maybe on this other side too. Right, just add a little detail. Cute. And then we have Life is Sweet. And maybe I'll stamp that on something else just to... Because if it's just here, it's going to be kind of boring, right? I'll probably stamp it on another uh, piece of paper and just cut that out. And stick it on there. So, thanks for watching, guys. Um, if you could find this, it's adorable. I would highly recommend it. And thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys at the next one. Bye now. Oh, you got to be kidding me. This is too adorable. I just wanted to show you that I stacked up two pieces of the foam to hold up the little life is sweet. Now that it was just cut that out by hand and eyeball it. So there it is. Super cute. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. I always have to come back and say something. Huh? <laughs> I'll see you guys at the next one. Bye now.